In this lesson, we're going to review how to perform decision making or selection using the if statement in Python. And this time we're going to use scripts rather than the interactive interpreter. So let's build a script by opening Notepad, and we'll call this script if.py. And let's start by doing a simple division problem. We're going to have a numerator and a denominator equal to certain values. And then we're going to say if the denominator is not equal to zero, then print the numerator divided by the denominator. Notice that we put a colon after the relational expression to indicate that we're beginning the body of the if. So if the value of denominator is not equal to zero, then this is going to display the ratio of numerator divided by denominator. So let's save the file, bring our window back up, and we'll type if.py, and you see that we get 6.0. And what we could do is also provide an else part where we're going to say division by zero not allowed if the value of denominator is equal to zero. This time let's change the value of denominator to zero, save the file, bring our DOS window back up, and this time because the value of denominator is equal to zero, then the interpreter skips this part, the if part, and executes the else part. And again notice that we have to use a colon to indicate the beginning of the body of the else part. So, so far we've seen the simple if statement, then we've seen the if else, and then the last thing we need to look at in this review of the if statement is the if else if, which in Python is called elif, E-L-I-F. You'll see how that works in just a minute. Let's start a new script, so we'll delete this one. We'll still stick with the name if.py. And now we're going to do a program that looks at test scores and then determines the letter grade based on the score. So here we're going to say grade is equal to and we'll assign some value. And then we're going to say if grade is greater than or equal to 90, letter grade equals A. Then we want to elif grade is greater than or equal to 80, letter grade equals B. L if grade greater than or equal to 70, letter grade equals C. L if grade greater than or equal to 60, and notice that I left something out. One of the things I will do in my videos is not edit out my mistakes, primarily because I want you to see how they're made, because you'll be making them yourself. So I left out the colons in those three lines. So I'll add those back in, then letter grade equal D, and then we can have a final else because if it's anything else, then it's got to be the letter grade F. And then we'll have it print the letter grade. This is very similar to any other if else if statement you've seen in C++ or Java or C Sharp or any other language that uses C syntax, JavaScript, as another example. The difference is, is that we don't use else if, we write L if, which is kind of odd and lots of people protest against that but that's just the way the developers of the language decided to create the statement. So with a little practice, you get used to it. For me, it's harder to remember to put the colon at the end of the relational expression than it is to remember elif. So let's save this script and see what happens when we run it. Let's clear the screen so we're not confused by our other output. And so 85 is a letter grade B. So let's try 72. Run the script again, and that's a C. Let's try a 44. That should be an F, and it is. And then let's try a 99. We didn't hit the Ds, but that's okay. Try it again, and that's probably good enough. So the key to writing the if else if statement in Python is to remember, first of all, that the colon has to come after each relational expression or each conditional test. And then also that instead of else if, you're using ELF or LF for each additional test after the original if test. So in this lesson, we've covered the if statement in all three of its possibilities, the simple if, the if else, and then the if else if, or the if elif, if you want to call it that. So that should give you a pretty good overview of how to do decision making or selection in Python. And now let's move to the next lesson where we're going to talk about looping with the while loop 
and the for loop. 